The biggest challenge most aspiring product managers face is how can I become a product manager with no experience? And how can I jumpstart my PM's career from scratch? What does it look like to become a product manager and grow up their career ladder? But do you know that data has shown that 91% of product managers today, they transition into product management with no experience. Everybody starts from scratch from somewhere, and there's an easy and simple way for everybody to start the PM career with no experience for sure. In this video, I'm gonna break down the top six entry-level product manager roles that's most highly recommended and rated by me based on the popularity levels and also difficulty levels so that you can actually jumpstart your product management career with no experience at all. Today, until the end of this video, we are share with you the six type of entry-level product management title and the position that most people do not even think that's available to them. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, Director of Product and Featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies, a unicorn startup, and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we cover tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe and watch our new video every Tuesday. I've helped hundreds of product managers landing entry-level product manager role all the way to VP of product management role. And majority of my students actually when they start out the product management career, they land offers in one of those six different kind of entry-level PM title, which I really want you to follow the same exact strategy. So now let's take a look at the first type of highly recommended entry-level product manager title and role. APM and RPM stands for Associate Product Manager or Rotational Product Management position. And those it were initiated by fan companies such as Meta, Google, Apple, all those tier one companies that have those APM, RPM positions. Now, let's take a look at those latest APM position from Google. As a Google APM, so those kind of positions are designed for someone who's a fresh graduate or someone with very little product management experience. And to start to learn product management and start to do product management work, it's like training plus mentorship plus doing the real cool product management job in the very cool company. That's why everybody wants to join this APM, RPM program, especially if you're undergrad with no experience, they still welcome you into those programs. You also receive lots of mentorships throughout the entire two-year APM program, and you're also getting paid very well between $100,000 up to $150,000 per year. Besides fan company, they have those kind of title, APM, RPM, and in other non-fan companies such as Intuit, Dolingo, LinkedIn, and they all have those kind of APM program. I highly recommend everybody to take a look, including startups, when they hire entry-level product manager, they still have APM title. Check it out for sure. The second type of APM position is fresh MBA APM role. A lot of tech companies really love MBA graduate. For example, Amazon is a number one company, loves MBA, they recruit MBA, they prioritize MBA, they even give MBA senior product manager title once you join Amazon as well. And there are so many entry-level PM positions designed for MBA students. My favorite MBA PM position is Adobe MBA University graduate for product management specializing in AI ML. This is dream come true perfect combination between AI and MBA business and cool design company. That's really my favorite. And they just opened this application a few days ago when I'm filming this video. Everybody must capture the right opportunities to get in. Of course, the best way to get into this program is get lots of referrals. If you want to check out free referrals, feel free to go to our website right here. And I'm also going to link in the description of the video where we have different kind of referral opportunities for free for all of you guys. The third entry level product manager position is associate product specialist. And this is not a real product manager, but it's treated as if you are a product manager. For example, one of my students joined MasterCard as associate product specialist equal to associate product manager in any other companies. And over there, you see the job description. They are performing exact the same functionality as associate product manager, for example. As an associate product specialist, you will have the chance to learn how to develop business cases for new product opportunities, develop scalable customer-centric product, and see those products through go to market. Those are the end-to-end -end product management lifecycle experience as an associate product specialist. This is amazing. As a product specialist, you're not going to lead the team, but you're going to contribute to product vision and ideas and working a cross-functional team to lead them execute on the product strategy. This is literally a very cool role. I highly recommend everyone to increase their search 
and put in product specialist as a search title for you to start your product management career starting from day one. The fourth type of entry level product manager position is product analyst. Product analyst sounds like an analytical role, however, it's a product analyst and also depends on different type of companies. Product analyst really means something very different. I highly recommend everyone to read the job description very carefully. And majority of the product analysts, they're actually running lots of A-B testing, collecting data and help the growth of the product, which is exactly the same as an entry level product manager, which I believe is gonna grow your career significantly. For example, let's use Meta product growth analyst as an example. We literally have a student who only have one year experience and join Meta as product growth analyst and working on global growth of Meta as a company, as a platform. This is actually what she does on a day-to-day -day basis and it's also very similar to the job description described here. The product growth analyst role is embedded with product teams and they require using a mix of skills including analytics, creative product ideation, and cross-functional collaboration. And lead growth strategy across a large product area and drive cross-team alignment. As my student who is currently working in Meta as a product analyst, she also told me that she ran a lot of A-B testing to test out new ideas to grow the company product globally. So that's why is A-B testing plus customer insight and end-to-end -end product management lifecycle as a product analyst. This is such a fantastic opportunity. And guess how much is getting paid? $128,000 per year, up to $185,000 per year, plus bonuses, plus equity. This is a $250,000 job in total compensation. The fifth entry level product manager position is product owner. Product owner itself is a managing a smaller scope of product management compared with a real product manager. Because product owner frequently spend lots of time in the scrum methodology, doing lots of engineering facing work, but product manager doing more strategic work, designing roadmap and designing go-to-market strategy. Therefore, product owner is an even better jump to product manager as you grow your career in a larger scale. I have helped so many students also land in product owner entry level positions and actually the bar to become a product owner is not high at all. You can start from zero years of experience. Let's take a look at the digital product owner position at Blue Cross Blue Shell, this kind of insurance company. And in level one product owner position, it said the following, you only need two years experience in digital product ownership, website management, digital marketing, or technology, which means any kind of experiences related to digital is going to count as experience. This is amazing. And one year experience with user research and zero years experience creating customer persona. This is definitely an entry level product manager position as a product owner and then you can grow your career from there. And the best part, the job description never asks for a computer science degree as part of owner. Even if you work closely with engineers, you just need to know how to collaborate, how to speak the language of software engineer. I filmed a side-by-side -side comparison video talking about the differences between product owner and product manager. I'm gonna put it in the description of this video. You can also watch it right here where I talk about the major six differences among these two roles, including the salary differences. Now, here comes the most surprising entry-level product manager position is actually the title of product manager. There is a misconception regarding what is a product manager, what is the entry-level means, and to be frank, Lots of companies put the title very differently. For example, entry-level product manager at Microsoft is called product manager. There's no APM in Microsoft. In Amazon, they don't have APM either. They just have product manager level one. All you need to look at is the years of experience they required in the job description and the salary range. Salary is the best indication regarding is it really entry level or senior level, what kind of people is the best fit for the specific roles. And actually have so many students and actually majority of my students when they transition into product management, they directly land the product manager title instead of APM, product specialist, product analyst, because you just need to know what's the best way to identify the right company that really appreciate your past transferable skills and give you opportunity directly to become a product manager without doing any entry-level work at all even if you might be perceived as someone who is entry-level within the company but they are willing to give you a product manager position such as Microsoft and Amazon all those amazing companies and also do not be fooled by the title itself because product manager position and Meta can get paid at $300,000 per year easily we also have AI product manager currently getting paid at $400,000 per year as one of my students so even if their title are product managers 
but the pay range could be significantly different depends on how you position yourself in the interview. Regardless, you are entry level product manager or you're already senior or you're someone who transitioned into product management with years of experience and in a very different industry, the number one thing everyone needs to do is immediately learn what does the interview process look like as a product manager and what kind of questions they will be asking you. In that case, make sure to go to this website and download the 50 product manager interview questions database so that you know what kind of interview question to expect and get ready for your upcoming interviews. You may also be wondering how can I continue to grow my career as a product manager once I break in? In that case, please make sure to watch my next video where I break down the path to the product management career path from entry level all the way to chief product officer position. This is Dr. Nian CD from PM accelerator.io. I'm going to see you in my next video right here.